What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is obviously about the last map of Battlefield 2042, the stadium. Now there's been a lot of buzz around this map. Some people just call it like too much chaotic. Some people just call it awful and trash and some people just like it. I actually did some research on this. I made a community post asking people how things are about this map, if they like it or not. 10% of you said it's great and I like it. 30% of you said nice, but too much chaos. 50% said it's just another one of the maps. And I thought this would be the results and 10% said it's garbage and I hate it. So 50% of you guys actually think that it's another one of the maps. It's just something like, you know, like the others. There's no, nothing really special about it. At least that's what you think. But in today's video, we're gonna talk about how this map could have been better the opportunities in this map and we're going to talk about the chaos that it brings and all of that stuff so if you enjoyed the content hit the like button make sure to subscribe to the channel or maybe share this with a friend a fellow battlefield player actually and that way you can give me something in return so with all that said let's get right into the video okay so starting off a lot of people said this map is too much chaotic and i have to be honest it really is in my opinion, it's the most chaotic map in the history of Battlefield 2042, which is not a bright history, to say the least. But uh, we've got some maps, some more chaotic, some less chaotic. But this one, this one is just on another level. If you guys haven't played this, you have to try it out. This is incredibly chaotic. There's not even Redacted can match this thing. Not even Redacted. I mean, bullets come from everywhere. There are so many flank routes, so many, countless flank routes. You're gonna get flanked from almost every single direction. Yeah, it's a it's a total mess when it comes to flanking, I have to be honest. But apart from that, the chaos can be bad and can be good at the same time. You can get flanked from so many directions, but that also means that you can flank people from so many directions as well. And that's what I really like to do in this map. The gameplay you're watching now is me playing my first rounds in the map. And I really have to be honest, the map doesn't have a lot to learn. Like everything you need to do is get to know the flank routes and all those kind of stuff. The rest is just pure shotgunning people. Back to the chaos, it really can be good for some people who want to get a T1 mastery for some operators, like Dozer, for example. Uh, so for getting the T1 mastery on Dozer, you need uh, kills in under 15 meters. That's something that happens every single time in this map. Every single kill you get, the enemy is just in your goddamn face. That's every, that's every single time. That's the experience of this map. The close quarter thing is really intense here. And that is why you can take the opportunity to get some T1 masteries and some operators that are harder to get in some other maps. Like you can think of Irish for the Sentinel shoot down, the active protection system that he has. You can just put it down there. And I'm going to tell you this. You're going to have a lot of projectiles to destroy. The gunfights are basically linear. So every single throwable, every single explosive comes from one direction. So basically you can put that ADS down and everything will be so cool because you're going to get all those explosives, all those grenades taken out without like, it's, it's a goddamn no brainer. And as I said, getting to know the map is really easy. The two objectives outside are kind of not fun to play, if I want to be honest with you. But every now and then, if you just get out of that chaos inside the stadium itself, basically capture those objectives, things are going to be way easier for you. And believe it or not, those two objectives outside are the ones guaranteeing your team to win. Because the three objectives inside are going to be chaotic, nevertheless. And there will be always gunfights there. The majority of players will be playing there. And you're going to be losing objectives and capturing objectives at the same time simultaneously. But if you get those two objectives outside, things are going to be way easier for your team. You're going to drain those enemy tickets way easier. So that's actually said some things about how effective shotguns are in this map and i have to tell you dice was right about this one if you have any shotguns without a t1 mastery this map is the place for you to get a t1 mastery for them to be honest as i've said before every single gunfight is happening in your face and the best thing for that scenario is a shotgun obviously the semi-auto shotguns are incredibly nice for this map especially 12 of them auto because it just fires like a goddamn machine gun and basically devours everyone also, SMGs are going to be interesting playing in this map. You don't see me playing with them. And that's because I just wanted to have my shotgun out here to see how things are going to go. Back to the objectives outside. The majority of people are playing inside, right? I've guessed this before, but um, this is exactly what's going to happen. The DMRs are going to be outside doing their thing. 
The two objectives outside are completely great for having some medium range combat. I do believe DMRs are perfect for that matter. But snipers have little to no place in this map. That's what I've learned, at least in the few rounds that I've played. The snipers were not doing anything special. And literally nobody even plays sniper here. And if I want to wrap this up, I do believe Stadium is a good map. Like, the infantry-only chaotic map was something that we needed. It was always there, especially in, in a game like Battlefield 4. We had a lot of maps similar to this one. Maybe even more chaotic. Like, like I do believe Operation Blocker or Metro were twice as chaotic as this is. But yeah, we needed something this chaotic. I do believe the chaos here is not the limiting factor. Um, the limiting factor is actually the areas that people don't play in this map. Like, the two objectives outside don't get that much attention. Everything that's happening is happening inside the stadium. So I do believe it could have been better if the inside of stadium was a bit more developed. At least somehow make people participate in capturing those uh, two objectives outside a bit more. But generally speaking, I do believe the map is chaotic and I do believe the map is nice. I wouldn't say it's too much chaotic, but I should agree with you guys on this one. It's just another one of those maps. It's like just another day in the office for DICE. So they didn't do anything special as the last map for Battlefield 2042, but at least 2042 is finally over. So go down in the comment section, let me know what you think about all this. If you guys haven't participated in the community post that I've posted just a few hours ago, go down in the comment section, I have some questions for you. First of all, do you think the map is overly nice or do you think it's garbage? Because there's been a lot of buzz going around this specific topic. Do you think it's really that much chaotic? And if you think it is chaotic, do you think it's bad to be the most chaotic map of the game? Or um, do you think that we needed this? And generally, do you have any idea how to make this map better? I don't believe DICE is going to ever do any kind of rework on this map, ever. Like, I'm literally sure about this. But maybe they can somehow twist it and, I don't know, improve it with future updates? That's almost impossible, but, I mean, we can hope. So if you have ideas about making the map better, I do believe the comment section is the place you have to be saying your ideas. Oh, and we have a community post right now going on about the map. You can also participate in that. And the link to that community post is down in the description. Make sure to check that out as well. With today's video coming to an end, hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Until next time, guys, stay cool. Captured Sector Delta. Fire! Fire! Fire!